Hello drone pilots, my name's Paul Tace. How's it going? I hope you've had a great start to the new year. Now, this video is going to be about active track on the Mini 2. Now, this is something I was really excited about because as of the 1st of January, DJI release, released the SDK rights to the Mini 2. However, they only did this so far on the Android which is something that is a bit upsetting. So let's get started. Okay guys, so a lot of people out there are gonna want active track with their Mini 2, and now there are signs that that is going to become possible. As of the 1st of January, Litchi have released a new beta version of the app, which will allow certain pilots to fly the uh, DJI Mini 2 with active track. Now there's a lot of points here that I really need to stress. The first point is that it's the beta version, so if you've just downloaded the ordinary Litchi version, um, this will not apply yet. You need to wait until it's gone through the beta stages and been released. If you want to get hold of the beta version, um, you need to go to Litchi and apply to um, be part of the beta version. And to do this you have to buy the Litchi app. Now the second thing I want to stress is that so far DJI have only released this to the Android users, which for me is really upsetting because I use iOS. So um, I was really looking forward to going out and testing my Mini 2 with Active Track, but as it stands, unless I can find someone who's going to let me use their Android, um, I'm not going to be able to do this straight away. So um, I thought it would be worth letting guys know that um, Active Track looks like it might be coming to the Mini 2, but um, there's still a few hoops to jump through. But I think it's going to be of a lot of interest to a lot of people. So, if you're watching this video as an Android Mini 2 user and uh, you live around Southwest London area and you're interested in making a video with me, let me know in the comment section down below. It could be something quite fun to do. Um, and I will get a review done as soon as I can. Now, um, Upon talking to um, Litchi directly, they've sent me an email back saying that basically this is not out for ISO yet, which means nobody with Apple phones is going to be able to use it, and they don't know if it will be released, which is something that is quite sad. But um, I say watch this space, and um, if and when they release it for the ISO, or if somebody wants to collaborate with me on the Android, um, I will bring out a video on the active track on the Mini 2. So that's something quite potentially exciting to look forward to. Um, there's other things I just want to point out is that if you are downloading the Litchi app and you are flying your drone with the Litchi app, it does invalidate the warranty. It will invalidate your care refresh and uh, you have to show evidence of your logs when you apply for these things. So um, they will know you've been using the, the uh, Litchi app instead of the DJI Fly app. So it's just something to bear in mind. And uh, obviously there's no obstacle avoidance on your Mini 2. So um, there's no reason why it's not going to fly straight into a tree if you're not paying attention to where it's flying. So um, it's like a double-edged sword. Um, if you're an Android user, you're in luck, um, but you've still got to be careful. And if you're an ISO user, watch this space, hit the subscribe button, and I'll let you know if and when there are any changes. That's it for this video, guys. I hope to see you in the next one.